You guys responded so well to the video I did on why sex is declining in the world. I'm following it up, baby. I'm doing my life games thing for you. And I have got the weirdest story of how a guy in Arizona was trying to get him some with the weirdest fetish that you guys do not need to practice when trying to get you a girl. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sex is hell host of this Life Games channel. And we're bringing you your life game and what not to do to fulfill your fetishes, to fulfill your fantasies, to get women. And we're going to talk about it, but before we do that, y'all know I got to put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Because I'm working on skilling up my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. It's the holiday season, so I'm doing giveaways. So in this video, I am giving away this Android mini PC, and it comes with a remote so that you can use it on any TV or device you have at your home. All you got to do to get this is be a subscriber of this channel, leave me a message, and also go subscribe to the Life Games Finance and Fitness channel because i am going to start putting my content back up there to help you make those life games this is going to be a weird story there's a guy in arizona who faked having down syndrome so that he could get caregivers to come and give him care in his home because he had a freaky fantasy of caregivers y'all take a look at this right here lord have mercy syndrome and hired caregivers to bathe him and change his diapers. Which He's Paul Menchaca of Gilbert, Arizona. The accusers say he talked and acted like a child, but when it came time to be changed or washed, he would become sexually aroused. He would just be clapping, he would be smiling, he would be talking to us when we were changing his diaper. Another caregiver says the Menchaca she met pretended to have a traumatic brain injury. He did ask me a few times to come over and help him shower, but I wasn't incredibly comfortable with that. One of the three caregivers became suspicious and followed Menchaca to his real home where they confronted his parents and learned their son did not have Down syndrome or need diapers at all. And instead, that Menchaca had a weird fetish. I'm glad I never showered him and he's gonna get what you know he deserves for fooling everybody like this. The victims say they confronted Menchaca who admitted he lied to them He's now charged with fraudulent schemes and sex abuse. <laughs> it's not funny. It's <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for laughing. It's not funny, y'all. It's, it's pretty sad. I think he was diagnosed with the wrong thing. I think he's just a little nuts. So, first off, dude, you live so close to Las Vegas where you can go and pay for these fantasies to be fulfilled and not have to pay any penance to courts, judges, and all this. I'm, for the life of me, can't understand why you was doing this. There's apps for that. There's Las Vegas for that. Hell, there used to be um, Backpage.com for that. Why in the world are you doing it? Also, I'm trying to figure out here the crime. So it said fraudulent schemes and sex harassment from the best of what I heard, he didn't never touch these women. He just got a hard on, he got a Woody on like Woody Woodpecker. And the only way I can see he's getting in trouble for fraudulent schemes is that maybe he lied on his health insurance about the Down syndrome and was billing his health insurance to get those caregivers to come over and provide the care that they was providing for him. Um, Y'all heard them talk about some of the women that was dealing with them and the one girl said she's glad she didn't give him a shower, my God. So what is the life gain takeaway from this crazy story? If you're gonna exercise your fantasy out there, men and women, do so in a manner that's not gonna cost you legal issues, number one, embarrass you on your job, number two, and then number three, in a manner that you can keep it private. Dude, I don't know where he thought this was gonna end. 
Like they was gonna catch up with them sooner or later. So you, if you've got these weird fetishes and you wanna exercise them, get in a group chat, uh, find the apps that work for you, look on the web, or hell, just drive somewhere where that type of thing is legal and exercise your fantasy so that you're not gonna get in no trouble. It wasn't worth it, but like I said, I think dude has a diagnosis. He's a little touched, but he ain't touched by Down syndrome. There is something else more kooky going on with this brother. And, um, you know, I wish those women well that might have been traumatized by his Woody Woodpecker Woody. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. If you're going to exercise a fetish, people, please do it in a way that's safe, doesn't harm someone else, and is not fraudulent. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.